The family of 16-year-old Landon Ferris now living a nightmare. A grade 10 student at Trenton High School, his family and friends say he was joyful and sweet. He was a life force. He was happy. If he was here right now, you guys would have to shoo him away because he'd be trying to hug you. But almost three weeks ago, Landon was found in a room at the school alone and unresponsive. Landon had Dravet syndrome, a rare type of epilepsy that can cause sleep-related seizures. His family says they warned the school that Landon couldn't be unsupervised, especially while sleeping. His mom watched over him every night to make sure he woke up safely. And she needed to protect him. And she did an amazing job protecting him for 16 years. But he's not there to sleep with anymore. In a statement, Lyndon's mom wrote, he was literally a light in every room. I'm devastated and in the dark without him. He kept me soft-hearted even when I was mad at the world. The family wants answers from the school board, which would only confirm there was an emergency at Trenton High School and a student later died. We have very little information. What we do know is that Landon was left alone in this room for some time. Uh, we don't know how long, but presumably, presumably for some time. His death sparking outrage from fellow parents and advocates who say what happened was a direct result of the province's deeply underfunded education system. A child like Landon should have a one-on-one -on -one with him at all times. And there's children all over the province that should have a one-on-one -on -one with them at all times. Ontario's chief coroner is investigating. Advocates are calling on the Ministry of Education to conduct an investigation of its own, saying no child with disabilities should ever go without their needs met. Nicole Williams, CBC News, Toronto.